welcome back to Car Corner. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> talking about the evolution of the Corvette. And here we go. So back in the 50s, Ford had the Mustang and GM didn't have an answer for that. So they needed to come out with a vehicle and this is when they released the Corvette. So when the Corvette was first released as a concept car, it was called a Le Sabre. So in 1951, GM's chief designer, Harley Earl, introduced a Le Sabre concept to a guy named Watkins Glenn, who is a head executive up in GM as well. And they got excited about the idea and wanted to build a car that was gonna beat the Mustang. So from 1950, to 1962 was the build year for the C1. First year. The Corvette was first released with an inline six, 150 horsepower blue flame motor. It was equipped with a two speed power glide transmission. Later on with the first generation, they released a V8 small block motor, which was the true birth of the Corvette. So C2, second generation from 1963 to 1967. The 1963 and 1964 models were the only year to ever have a rear split window in them. And then in 65 came the big block V8, the 396 cubic inch engine that was making big grounds. So not only did they introduce a 396 big block in 65, but in 66 they decided to make it bigger and better and introduced the 427 big block, pushing about 450 horsepower in, in the 60s. So pretty cool stuff. And in 1968, they released the third generation, the C3. Now the C3 was the first generation to actually have the removable T-tops, which is pretty cool. And then when we move on to 1969, that was actually the year that marked the 250,000th sold Corvette. So 1974 marked the last year of the big block. And then in 1975, they went ahead and added catalytic converters to a 350 motor, which essentially choked it out. So it had a whopping 160 horsepower. So C4, fourth generation Corvette. From 1984 to 1996, this car got a whole new facelift. It had a redesigned body, a smaller frame, and the old classic flip up headlights. So in 1986, the convertible Corvette returned from a 10-year absence in the lineup. And then later on in 1990, they came out with the ZR1 again, also known as the King of the Hill. This thing was sporting a 5.7 liter V8 capable of 375 horsepower right from the factory. So from 1997 to 2004 was the production years for the C5 fifth and generation. And in 2001, they released the legendary Z06. So in 2001, the Z06 had 385 horsepower. And then the next year, they did a horsepower upgrade and they brought that motor up to 405 horsepower. I think I had like a top speed of over 170 miles an hour. Is that what it was? Yeah. So from 2005 to 2013, we introduce you to the C6, sixth generation Corvette. So in 2006, the Corvette reintroduced the Z06 after taking a year break, which they invented the LS7 motor, which is a seven liter small block V8 pushing 505 horsepower. So later on in 2008, the standard Corvette lineup got a new engine known as the LS3 motor, which was actually a 6.2 liter V8 pushing about 400 horsepower. So from 2014 to present is the C7. Seven generation. Uh, so with the C7, there's currently three body styles being produced. There's of course the Stingray, there's the Grand Sport, and then the legendary Z06. The Stingray and the Grand Sport both share a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated motor. Now the Grand Sport has the body of a Z06. If you want to get the full meal deal, you can go straight to the Z06, which equips it with a supercharger with 650 horsepower and matching torque. So thanks for watching this episode of Car Corner, guys. Next week's episode is all up to you. So comment below what you want to hear us talk about. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it has to do with cars. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to head over to our YouTube page for all you YouTubers. Links above the video. This week's burnout, 7th Gen Corvette Z06.